this book is sold for 7.97 us dollar and if we go to amazon royalty calculator you can see that the estimated royalty for this book is 2.58 us dollars per sale and this book has a ranking of 1619 which means that this book is making around 1554 sales per month so the estimated profit for this book is more than four thousand dollar per month which is crazy so today i'm gonna be looking at a very profitable sub niche at the activity book market and that is may's book so if we go to google trends you can see that may's book is getting constant amount of traffic throughout the year which means that it's not a seasonal niche so you can upload it promote it through the whole year but the question is how can we create the cover design and the interior so let's start with the interior how can you create or get the maze book interior so there are more than one way to get it one of the best ways is to go to this maze generator website which is mazegenerator.net so this is as you can see a really good tool you can decide the shape of the maze the style the width height the inner width and height and much more and there are many different examples here that shows different styles of mazes so you can create these normal mazes like this or sigma maze or delta maze or even theta maze like this one so this maze generator provide you a variety of mazes that you can you can create and there are unlimited numbers of mazes that you can create with this tool so let's try for example the the rectangular shape and let's choose the sigma style and make for example 40 to 20 cells and let's see so this is as you can see so this is looks like a more advanced maze not for children maybe and maybe we should vary the width with the height so let's write here 20 and here's the 40 like this so this look better and maybe it looks way too long too long but yeah here as you can see you can choose the format do you want it as pdf SV, svg png and much more with different sizes as you can see here and also you can get the solution as well which you can include at the end of your book however you cannot use this for commercial uses for free so you must check the license so if we go here to the commercial use you can see that the prices depend on the type of the license so if you want individual maze it will be cheaper however you don't want to make a book with one maze you should make maybe 50 60 70 mazes so you should go with this unlimited mazes with attribution requirement per year it will be 99 us dollars per year and with attribution means that you must include that you got this mazes from mazegenerator.net so you must mention this website in your book if you don't want to mention this website so which means that without attribution it will be more expensive of course which is almost doubles the first price so 199 so i think this is the best option unlimited mazes per year so you can create a limited number of mazes for the whole year only for 99 dollars so you can create maybe in that year more than 50 60 books in the mazes niche in different categories and different sub niches and to cover this cost you will need around 50 sales if we, if we assume that the average profit per book is two dollars so this book is sold for 6.99 to 7.99 up to 11.99 so 50 sales will cover the whole cost for the whole year however if you want to use it you can use other websites maybe it's cheaper i tried to look for a website that provide good mazes interior for free without any license for commercial use but unfortunately i didn't find so maybe you can find or you can go to creative fabrica if you have a subscription you can get it of course you can go here and search for maze and you'll find many different results so 
61,000 results for Macy's. So that's very, very good deal. Because if you have a Creative Fabrica subscription, you can get all of these Macy's completely for free. So now let's make an realistic example, okay, for a maze that is 20 by 20 orthogonal maze. And let's get the question first, the maze as it is, and let's download it as PNG. You can download it as SVG if you want to put something behind it, for example. And let's go to Canva, custom size, change it to inches, and let's say we want 8.5 by 11 inches. Then let's drag the interior like this, put it here in the middle like this. So now you should add two elements to emphasize the line. So for example, let's go to the elements, search for rabbit like this one and put it here like this. And the rabbit normally eat carrots. So let's see a good carrot. I think this one's very good. And let's put it here like this. So now this look very good. So you know, you got the idea, especially you should do this for kids books and you should consider the targeted audience for your niche. So this is a carrot with a rabbit and you can add an outline here or a pattern in the background if you want. But this looks very good as you can see. Oh yeah, you can of course also add a text, rabbit and change the font like this. And maybe you change the effect to put it like this. So you know it's a coloring maybe like this. So yeah, now you know how to create the interior. However, the next step is to create a very catchy cover design that catch the customer eyes. And to know how to do that, you should watch this video where I'm talking about how to create a good cover design using free sources in a short time.